Welcome again to Professional English One. We are going with multi-word nouns. We are going to practice what we have learned in the previous session. Okay. Um, one of the things, or the things, sorry, I would like to emphasize in this case is the usage of contractions. In formal English, in academic English, in technical English, we do not use contractions for written English. Okay, when you write a formal text, you don't need to use contractions, okay? Don't is not well accepted. You probably will need do not, will not, instead of want. Not hasn't, but has not, and so on. Please remember this very clearly, and through the course we are going to deal with this a lot. Okay. Today, we, or in this session, we are going to practice the usage forms and interrogative forms of noun compounds. Uh, we are going to start by making noun compounds from phrases. We have a phrase, a concession on taxes. A concession on taxes describes a situation in which your amount or the amount that is going to be paid is lowered. So, actually, your payment for taxes is going to be much less or less than it was previously stated. To make on, um, a compound noun, we shorten in this form. Tax concession. Okay. Another thing I would like to emphasize is that when we form plurals from a noun compound, in this case, for example, tax concession, we only pluralize concessions, the second word, tax concession. Okay, we do tax concessions. A machine which is a tool. Okay, again, we have a machine that, is work, the, that works as a tool. So we have a tool machine. In plural, tool machines. Again, we are pluralizing the second word. A report on an accident. Okay, so when there is an accident, uh, uh, police officers need to write reports about it. Okay, we will have an accident report. In plural, accident reports. Okay. A court of law. That is the office or the group of people that work as a group to make justice, to impart justice. Okay? So we have a law court. In plural, law courts. A license to export. Okay, when you need to export, one of the first things you have to do is to apply for a license. So, in a, a compound noun form, we have an export license. In plural, export licenses. Okay. A deposit in cash. When you go to a bank or a financial institution, you deposit in cash when you give real money, you, I mean coins or notes. So, in compound noun form is a cash deposit. A publishes, uh, sorry, a publisher of newspapers. So, it's a publisher, an office or a person that specializes in newspapers. We have a newspaper publisher, in plural, Newspaper publishers. <coughs> Perdón, sorry. Rates of taxes. So, this is the level of taxing that is imposed in a person or an institution or whatever. 
Okay, in compound noun form is tax rates. Okay, because it's plural. In the original phrase, we have the plural rates. We are talking about rates, not about taxes. Actually, uh, sorry. Please let me uh, analyze this in a different form. In, not in a different, but to emphasize uh, something. In the first example. In blue, we have tax concession. In the original phrase, we have a concession on taxes. What we are talking about? About the taxes or about the concession? We are talking about the concession. So, normally, the main word, the head word, as we said in the previous uh, meeting, is in this case concession. We are talking about concessions. What is the type of concession we are talking about? Is the tax. So we have tax concessions. In the second example, is the same. We are talking about a machine that works as a tool. So the head word is machine, and tool is the modifier or determiner. Tool, machine. Okay, a machine that actually works as a tool. In the next example, we have a report of an accident. What we are talking about in this case? About the accident or about the report? We are talking about the report, not about the accident. Okay? The, the report was written about an accident, so that's an accident report. What is, re is the report about? About an accident. An accident report. Okay. A court of law. Again, we are not talking about law. We are talking about a court. A law court. And let's continue each one. Please let me emphasize in each of these examples so we have that very clear. A license to export. What are we talking about? About the license. The license, not about the export process. So, we have an export license. In the next example, a deposit in cash. What we are talking about? About the cash or about the deposit? We are talking about the deposit that in this case uh, was in the form or is in the form of cash. A publisher of newspapers. We, we talk about the publisher, not about the newspapers. So, newspaper publisher. And finally, we have, uh, as we said, rates of taxes. What we are talking about, not particularly about taxes, but on rates. The, the, the information is on rates. So, we have tax rates. And here we have some ex exercises. You need to write sentences using these noun compounds or um, phrases. Number one and two are noun compounds. Number three is a phrase. Number four is a noun compound. We have number five, six, etc. that are noun compounds. And we have 14 sentences you have to write for the presential class. In the presential class, please present it to your teacher so he can or she can uh, mark it, correct your mistakes or emphasize your assets. Okay, let's continue. <clears throat> we are going to form compound nouns from phrases, as we did at the beginning. This, the management of assets. We are talking about assets or about management. We are talking about management, that in this case refers to assets. So, we uh, form the noun compound of assets management. A claim for insurance. We are talking about claim, that in this case is for an insurance. So, we have insurance claim. Let's move a bit faster because it's uh, just uh, a lot of examples to clarify what we are doing. 
a sheet which shows the balance of a company. This is a piece of paper that will resume the balance of a company. So we have <coughs> a balance sheet, the plural balance sheets. Remember, we pluralize the second word or the final word. A subsidiary which is overseas. It's an office that is not in the country we uh, or the, the principal office is. Okay, so we have an overseas subsidiary. Okay, if your company is based uh, on Lima, an overseas office is probably going to be in Asia, in Japan, in Australia, in Europe, in Africa, or wherever, not in the continent Lima is. A subsidy from the government. So that's one help, um, financial aid or uh, uh, an aid of any, any type, that the government will give to poor people or people in need uh, after a disaster, an earthquake, or I don't know, any catastrophe. Okay, so the noun compound is a government subsidy. In plural, a government, sorry, government subsidies. <clears throat> a study of techniques of production. Again, we are talking about a study that is based on techniques of production. A production technique study. To pluralize, we just pluralize the final word. Production technique studies. A report of progress for management. What we are talking about? About management, about the progress, or about the report? We are talking about the report. So we have a management progress report. So we are talking about the progress that management is doing that is reported. So for us, the most important part in this phrase is report. A manufacturer of components for computers. Okay, we have a manufacturer that's, that specializes in components, and the components are for computers. Okay, the most important or the head word in this case is manufacturer. So, the noun compound is a computer component manufacturer. Okay, manufacturer is the head word. Computer component are the modifiers or the terminals that are given more information to particularize the word, the head word. Manufacturer, manufacturer is a general word. So we give more information with component and with computer. Okay. Next. A store that sells clothes. We have a store that is our hair head word and specializes in clothes. A clothes store. A train that transports goods. A goods train. Okay, please notice that we have clothes and goods in plural. But actually, clothes is um, uh, it's a group noun, also goods. Goods is also a group noun. Uh, the, the meaning is that it refers to a set, to a group of things. In this case, clothes it refers to a group of cloth. Uh, more than one cloth that will be used to uh, cover a person. Also, good is a thing that is used for any uh, situation, any um, task in normal life, and goods is the, the, the group word. An account where you keep your savings. This is very uh, common and uh, obvious. Uh, 
um, in a financial institution, we have accounts and we put on it, in it, our savings, a savings account. A department which deals with the company's accounts. Okay, we are talking about a department that is specializes in accounts. So, an account department. Sorry, an accounts department. Notice we are using an, and accounts is in plural, but an actually refers to the department, not to accounts, as before. A clothes store, but clothes is in plural, but a is not referring, is not relating to clothes, is relating to store. In, in, in the same form, a goods train, okay? A is not referring to goods, a is referring to train, and so on. A car that is for people who enjoy sports. Okay, we have a sports car. Again, a car. To emphasize that, to give more information about the type of car, we say a sports car. Again, the a is for car, not actually for sports. An officer of the customs. Okay, we are talking about an officer. In this case, officer is the head word. Where does he or she work? At the customs office. What is the customs? It's the place when you enter, when you arrive to a country, to register, etc. A customs officer. A market on which futures uh, are bought and sold. Okay. This is kind of uh, poetic or, I don't know, um, I don't know, uh, it's just an idea, a market on which futures are bought and sold, the, a futures market. Okay, when you go to, um, to a witch or a sorcerer, they read on, on the cars your future or on a crystal ball. So probably that is a future market. A brand which is overseas, a branch, sorry. Again, branch is also a, an office that is not the, the, the principal office and that is not in the same continent as the one that is the principal in an overseas branch. A works manager, a manager of the works. Okay, the works, in Spanish we will say las obras. Okay, a works manager. A policy which deals with sale. A policy is a group of rules and laws that will um, direct sales in this case for example no so a sales policy okay la política de ventas okay in spanish let's continue a disaster involving chemicals which are poisonous okay what are we talking about here about poisonous Poisonous chemicals or a disaster? We are talking about a disaster. Okay? A poisonous chemical disaster. Again, the main word is disaster. An accident at an oil rig in the North Sea. Okay, what are we talking about again? We are talking about the accident not about the oil rig or the, the North Sea. So, the North Sea oil rig accident. Okay, rig is kind of platform. Okay. The record, the record for speed in the air. Okay, we are talking about the record. 
and the record is on speed and air. The air speed record. Okay, in plural we have a poisonous chemical disasters, the North Sea oil rig accident, air speed records. A problem in the level of congestions, congestion, sorry, at airports. We are talking about the problem. The problem is about congestion at airports, at the level, sorry, of congestion at airports. Our noun compound is going to be an airport congestion level problem. Okay, notice we have four words that are referring to one thing, the congestion the problem, sorry, about uh, airport, uh, our airports being congested and what is the level of the problem. A row over pollution caused by gas. We are talking about a row that is about pollution by gas, gas pollution. So we have gas pollution row. Row is kind of a discussion in this case. Okay, one of the things you need to remember is that in English most words will have more than one meaning. We know row that uh, um, refers to a line of people, but in this case row is kind of a discussion. A crisis in the policy of government. Again, we are talking about crisis and uh, it's based on a government policy. Policy, sorry. We have to make two compound nouns from the nouns in each group. We have profits, course, training company. We have training course and Profit course, we have, we already have a training course or a profits company, for example, or company profits. Okay, in the first case, when, when I say um, profits company, is a company that specializes in profits. In this example, we have company profits that are the profits of a company. Okay, please notice that. Company profits are the profits of a company. Training course is a course for training. Staff forecast meeting sales. Staff meeting is a meeting with the staff members, among the staff members. Sales forecast. A forecast is a prediction and sales uh, is the object of the prediction, okay? Card store credit department. <coughs> I'm sorry. Credit card is a card used for credit. You know, the plastic we use normally. Department store is a store that is organized in departments and will sell almost everything. Uh, internet sale summer access. We have various possibilities. Internet access is the access to internet. Summer sale is a sale in summer. Okay, and you will have offers and many things. Figures price inflation range. Okay. Price range is the range of prices. Inflation figures. Figures are the numbers. So the numbers about inflation. Sarbi market hour rush. Okay. We have rush hour is the hour that is very hectic, lots of things to do, or lots of people doing things. Market survey is a survey on market, 
to learn how is the market working, is it improving, or is it not working well, or whatever. Okay, now let's look a bit more to the left part of this screen. Profits Course Training Company. What does it refer to? It's a company that trains and has a course on profits. A company that trains, training company, and, is, um, and there is a course, a course training company. On what is the course? On profits. Staff forecast meeting sales. Okay. Uh, we have a sales that uh, was predicted by the staff in a meeting. Staff forecast meeting sales. In the next, card store credit department. We have a department about storing credit cards. Okay, internet sales summer access, and uh, is the access for an internet uh, summer sale range about uh, uh, sorry inflation range about uh, the price of figures, and in the final we have a, a market survey in the. Um, in the most hectic hour, our rush. Okay. Again, we are going to have words that will give us the possibility to make compounds. Technology, keys, keys, car information. Information technology. We have car keys. What else? Car information. And we have more possibilities. Assistant shop failure power. We have many possibilities there. Shop assistant, power failure, for example. Okay. Shop floor working, worker lunch. Shop floor worker. Working lunch. Okay, shop floor worker. Okay, is a worker that is on the place that um, is the store that they sell the things. Working lunch is obviously the lunch time at working hours. Insurance loan contract bank. We can have various possibilities. Insurance loan, insurance contract, insurance bank, loan bank, many. Insurance contract, for example, a bank loan. Okay. Bank loan is a loan that a bank gives to somebody or gives somebody. Features, cost, production, products. Product, sorry. Product features, the characteristics a product has. Production costs, okay, obvious, the cost or costs a production um, has, uh, yes, has. Market, marketing budget leader, in this case we have a scramble wars. Market leader. This is the leader of the market, the, the, the main company or whatever. We also have marketing budget. Is the budget for marketing. Is the amount of money we have destined for marketing purposes. Okay. We are going to cross out the words in the columns. So, we are going to make a common compound noun with the first word in bold. For example, sales. Sales for forecast, sale, sales figures, sales trade, 
sales target, which work. Target is not possible because we can have sales forecast, predict forecast sales, figures sales, trade sales. Market, market forces, market sector, market check, market share or check market. Check is not possible because market forces, market sector, market share are possible to construct and use. Price, price offer, price list, price range, price rise. Obviously, price offer does not have a real meaning. Brand. IMOS brand, brand IMOS, brand leader, brand loyalty, brand process. Yes, brand process is actually um, senseless. It doesn't, it's not coherent. Tax, tax relief, tax benefits, tax output, tax allowance. In this case, output with tax does not work. Product, product manager, product range, product features, product share. Okay, I don't know, but in this case, product share is not a good word. Advertising slogan, advertising campaign, advertising line, advertising agency. Obviously, line does not go with advertising. Production, market, line, capacity, target. Again, production market, I don't know, is not all the others are correct and markets is not so correct. It's really not correct. Working with conditions, trend, market exchange. Again, we have an obvious answer. Working trend, the trend is a possible direction. Stock, option, decision, market exchange. Stock decision doesn't have meaning, a clear meaning. Okay, now we can <coughs> uh, use one word to make and pronounce as an example. Let's see the example. Answer phone, answer, uh, sorry, phone card or phone number. We have the word phone and we are using our answer with card with number. Let's see, we have pets, figures, hype. We need one word that will work with all these three. Pre-modifier, that means that goes before the word, or post-modifier, that means that goes after the word. In the presential class, the teacher is going to explain much more clearly this. For example, ah, there's some something covered. Sales figures. We already did this. Sales pitch. Sales pitch is a particular location in an office in a store where uh, sales occur. Savings back a number. Very easy. Savings account, yes. Bank number. Ah, uh, sorry. It went too fast. Okay. Let's forget a bear market. The, the, the bear you have in a market. Market. <coughs> okay. Home market is the market in, in the house. Oh, I'm sorry. Some of the um, some of the slides are not working well. 
brand awareness, brand image, image, brand loyalty. Concession, we know that tax concession, for example, or trade concession in this case, trade secret, trade union. Okay, thank you very much. Se me ha logrado.